when I uh, performed at a fair on 9-11, uh, the towers fell that day, and the fair opened up that night. I walked out on stage. The last thing I wanted to do was a show. Um, mm-hmm. But there were three people from the town that were sitting down there, and I did. The, I walked out. I said, uh, we've all had a tough day. Let's you know try to relax and, and just have a little fun. A uh, show I did not want to do. After it was over, uh, one of the women stopped up and talked to me, and she said, uh, I really appreciate you being here and doing that because I was watching the news all day, and I had to get out, and it made a difference in her life. So what I'm going to ask you next is, have you ever had an experience that just showed you how you touched somebody's life as a performer? I actually have two. Okay. And I'll share both. Well, one is very similar to yours with 9-11. Uh, I was scheduled in Pittsburgh area uh, on 9-11. And, in fact, the school was just miles away from where the one plane went down in Pennsylvania. Mm. They saw the plane fly over the building and saw it go off in the distance. And, of course, the black smoke came up. And the kids, they ran them inside and all that. Um, I called the principal. I was supposed to be there the next day, and I thought maybe that's just too soon. I called, and he says, no, you've got to come. We need to help these kids. So being all tense and, and worn out the teachers and the principal and the kids, I came the next day over there, drove within miles of where they had the road closed off for the plane and did the show for the kids. They put everything I could into which I do anyway, but they laughed and it relieved the tension, and I had the principal come up, and the teacher said, thank you, they needed that, the kids, the little kids hugged me, and it was, it was, I was able to release that tension for them, uh, just like you did uh, with that. And the other, that was one, and the other one is even on a more personal level, I was doing a show at a school up near Canton, Ohio, and I needed somebody out of the audience to come and help me. So this little tiny girl, I asked her to come up, and as she came up to help me with something, I noticed that she was tiny and frail, and her skin was kind of blue, and her lips were kind of bluish, and I had her help me on stage do something in the show, and she laughed and giggled, and she went back to sit down. I saw the teacher's eyes get really big when I brought her up, and afterward, they came up and said, do you know about her? I said, no. She says, she has heart problems, and they don't know if she's going to live very long or what's going to happen. I said, really? I said, we were kind of worried that it might overtax her on stage, but she didn't. She loved it. And, and the next year I went back and she had died in between. And the teacher said, you know, she looked forward to you coming back from that show last year. She talked about helping you and how much she enjoyed helping you on stage. And she was pleased to be up there. And I, she was chosen to come up and help when no one would other uh, take her before because they were afraid to bring her up. I did it by accident, but sometimes I think the hand of God's on you and helps you bring and do things to kids like that. So I know that I left a message with that school and with that one little girl in particular because the next year I went back and there was a plaque on the wall. They had taken her picture and put up there. That's wonderful. 